Hello, Hearts of Iron fans. This is Gamer1745 here, and I want to talk a little bit about a mod that I'm developing. Now, of course, the big thing that I'm developing is Third Reich events that probably all of you are somewhat aware of, of at least. But I wanted to expand um, the government minister types and some of the other elements of it. And if you're going to do it for Germany, you got to do it for everybody. And I think this is a worthy mod to make. And I'm, what I'm going to do is, my current plans are, is to make this basic um, version of the expanded government, expanded government mod. It's more than just government, uh, and release it first as just sort of a general um, thing, and get feedback on it. I want feedback, of course, from you who are watching this. Please, as much as you can, please give me feedback. I really would appreciate that. But, um... I don't like what it's... Yeah. Um, want much feedback as we can from whether it's other modders or just players, what they think, what they like. Because I'm not absolutely sure uh, that I want to require this for Third Reich events or not. Um, because if it's too governmental, for, for many of you who just want to play a quote-unquote war game. Um, but this is one of the things I love about Hearts of Iron since I found it in, uh, with Hearts of Iron 3. It is more than just a simple war game which you move units around the map and they fight each other. You have a lot of the um, back-end development, if you will, of what it takes to be in war as part of it and the decisions that are made that um, affect it. So, um, this is what I'm looking at doing. Um, first off, I, I, you know, I'm still here. I haven't changed every, everywhere, but um, I don't like the term law. It's governmental policies or government policies or conscription policies because it's not always... May, now, maybe if it's a volunteer army or a conscription army, um, those are laws, but often um, how many um, or what, you know, do you... I'm nah, saying too much already, but... Um, the policy is, is you know, if we're, if we're conscripting people, do we conscript, it, conscript everybody or just the better half of people, you know, more fit people or however you want to do it. So I just, I'm a, I don't like the, the term law, so I've changed that. So these are the, you know, standard um, policies and my current thought is not to change. There's some very good uh, mods out there that um, have expanded the government and changed the policies. I'm not looking at that at this time. But what I am looking at is um, expanding the role of ministers. Now these um, plus signs here or crosses, I, and if any of you know how to do this, I think it's still a hard-coded thing, is these are placeholder images. I cannot add new placeholder images for new types of slots. I can do this type of thing where you swap them out. We always have to have one, but not an empty placeholder. So that's what these are. But as you can see, you cover over it like Deputy Minister. This is for somebody like Deputy Party Führer Rudolf Hess or um, Private Secretary um, Martin Bormann, which had been Rudolf Hess, his assistant. And even before Hess had did his thing till flew to Britain, he Martin Bormann had sort of started working for Hitler. So Deputy sort of Minister slot foreign minister slots and so you will have your choice between which foreign minister you can only have one instead of having like two foreign ministers secretary of war um, in germany this had been um, a military post where in a lot of countries it's a civilian post often maybe with former military people but civil political leaders but in germany it was always under the um not sure under the Weimar government, but under the the old Kaiserreich and under the the National Socialist regime, the Minister of War was a serving current naval officer, not a political person. Um, they both answered to what had been sort of the Kaiser or the President, and then the Führer. So, Minister of War, and I've not fully fleshed out the cabinet slots. So, 
now here like economics minister currently you know because you have the three slots you can have um helmar schacht and um walter funk or tote or even all three of them if you want but this way you'd have to pick now maybe sometime in the early war you want to go with um somebody's building up civil factories and then later change it to somebody who's building military factories to maybe somebody who can then later convert them or i'm going to expand some of this more and i have done so for third reich events but this is just the basics here so you'd have to pick your economics minister your sort of interior minister and i sort of look at this as and i'm the, your political drift type people or um your propaganda type ministers in many countries the interior minister who's sort of the head of the police um that varies from country to country but uh what i did do was security minister which currently that's for germany is of course right um heinrich himmler but there are other choices including the german interior minister who was in germany to charge of police but so those would be your six government slots to choose from and fill this is sort of like the cabinet type filling positions for hearts of iron three now down here on production which you know these um are sort of research sort of production type um slots but we're going to keep those then i've moved down here um a military theorist a naval theorist an air theorist and a scientific theorist this is what i'm looking so you can have up to four of them but obviously one in each thing if you want to do rocket scientist or nuclear scientist you get to pick um and then over time oh and if i'm inviting anyone who wants to not to to work on the project necessarily or or have to do a lot of time but just um a name and um what sort of kind of whether you know a any sort of any of these slots i have um germany down real well for the government ministers um from my work on hearts of iron three for third reich events but this could be for any country because i'm having especially finding photos but um color photos or color images not just photos of government ministers but um ideas for government ministers from any country um would gladly um, take suggestions not that i'm going to use your suggestion but um i'll very much look at it it's just no guarantees uh so um for any for any other areas like a um no i don't have other right off hand um other than heisenberg and um uh, verna von braun um a few others i'm can't place their name but i know i have bookmarked for other scientific type people but i suggestions on what they might um be as well as air theorists for any country out there if you want to contribute um you know a name of a person and your um, suggestion for what type and you know a naval theorist and either a brief description for you know what type of um bonuses and or negatives i don't no one's going to pick something that's complete negative but you might um have one or two bonuses that are good uh, and, and then like a minor negative bonus or something that negatively affects something else so um for th for theorist slots um then i'm looking at also for the military staff um obviously there are nations like the u.s that had an abundance of um everything in staff type and resources put into it other nations obviously don't and it may be very much like germany who did also have in my opinion a, a very well developed naval staff and a very well developed air force staff as well as ground staff but often i think it comes to be such an important part for germany is the land battle least i as a player always end up seeming to pick these guys or at least two of the three of them you have the option picking these so what i've sort of looking at doing is obviously having a chief of the army which is because he's just chief of the army not chief of the navy it's different than 
um, your minister of war. Now, in Germany, the minister of war more than more than likely is going to be an army guy because that's Germany. Um, I've done some work. If you've seen my expanded um, government mod for the United Kingdom, as well as the U.S., um, some of the ministers of war types may not be like necessarily the minister of war. He might be the um, the first lord of admiralty which is a um, civil sort of um, appointment which churchill had that for a while so it might you might be putting a um, a naval focus guy as your overall minister of war while you still have head admiral if you will of the british navy so that can vary from country to country but so this would give you the opportunity to pick your primary army head and then two um, staff guys that you would um, pick which two you want um, this in time will fill up with more uh, especially as you go on and similarly for the Navy Germany likely will have more staff members than this um, in time here but what we're starting as and somebody like Britain will probably have a huge amount of options but you only get to pick your two and eventually I would like to get for the, and I've talked to Axe99, my friend, he's given me some good suggestions, that mainly the U.S., Britain, and Japan, the three premier navies of the period, should have all five of the categories that I'm looking for suggestions, though I can, but we'll see what we put in other um, navies, but a sort of a battle fleet expert, a carrier fleet, you know, battleship expert, a um, carrier warfare expert, a submarine warfare expert, a um, commerce defense expert, and like a naval invasion expert. I'd like to at least have one person. And you can have multiple peoples, and eventually, when you get when I get around, I may have specific traits for the individuals. But generally, I like to have one uh, five. So you know, this isn't pick the best guy and leave him in here. It isn't intended to be that. It's you know, somebody like Britain will probably maybe always want to have a commerce warfare. Um, specialist in there to protect the, the supply lines because that's critical for Britain but they may flow from a um, a battleship war because fair expert um, to maybe later in the game a amphibious warfare expert if Britain is doing more naval invasion so you would over time and as, as the situation change maybe a bit more for the US as well changing naval es experts as you're shifting your your war around but you would get that and then obviously um, similarly with your chief of the air force and then your air high commands in which you know close air support I don't know why whether he should be a because you I could have him as like an army guy but I don't know paradrop or um, air you know bomber interception Obviously, there's you know a lot of lot of chances you know good choices to add there, but I would love other other ideas for other nations, large or small. Um, this is a bit of a call. I'm gonna try to sort of poke the general um, form out for this because it's time. Uh, it takes time to do all this. I have no problem if someone puts out a good. Um, list of staff members for the Italian Navy and why you think one guy would be a you know a good um, amphibious warfare guy and why would you know because obviously Italy never did have a carrier during the their war um, time frame but why some naval guy might be a good um, carrier guy or something like that I'm not against the giving them more options and choices it's just how much time and effort can I afford to put into say Italy's naval um, development definitely it's you know Britain America and Japan need to have a g good naval options somebody like the Soviet Union and which Stalin really devastated his naval officers and that's one area that um, probably naval aspects are going to have minimum um, options for that because they historically didn't but I'm willing to, to listen to ideas suggestions so it's just real simple if you want to you know 
contribute ideas and that's all I'm really looking for at the moment, not adding large um, groups of people to help develop this, but just who you might see filling whatever one of these roles, a researcher, you know, a minister of war for a nation or, you know, interior type minister. I'm thinking, you know, you know, people like Joseph Goebbels, who these are all changed um, to change the ideology um, type slots currently, but they can also be um, other um, things that don't fit, you know, that aren't a foreign minister and aren't a security minister, but um, like a um, good one here, I would say would be... Um, Oh boy, um, man, I got him in my, the DAF guy from Germany, um, Robert Ley. Robert Ley, because he was much, he wasn't in charge of production ever, but he was in charge of German labor, um, might be a labor, you know, an interior minister for, for labor that would, um, increase Germany's, uh, so I've already sort of thought, of, increase Germany's, um, manpower or whatever even though the manpower sort of goes to the army but it's better allocations of german labor which frees up labor for the army or something like that so i don't know who in, in russia or you know spain or wherever you you may have good suggestions for it um some they some countries obviously austria which did have a navy in world war one and theoretically could have a navy if you're playing it and get some coast but well you can sort of understand i'm not going to put much effort into nations like that other than just sort of taking the standard um and i'll have to go through all of the countries and cut and paste quickly through all the standard um ministers and stick them in the new slots and that's sort of what i plan on doing for most of the miners is that so thanks for watching I really like feedback on this um, primarily you can feedback here um, on the thread below um, the video for this but you know the message board there but I'd really like it on the hearts of iron um, mod page that's going to be associated with this video so or pages thanks so much see ya have fun gaming